Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm partnering with Figma to help teachers transition from Jamboard to FigJam. In this video, let's look at shapes and lines. So in Jamboard, when we look at shapes, we have our uh, shapes right here. There are f eight different shapes, including my favorite, the arrow. And once you have a shape, you can change the border color and you can change the inside color. And you know, you can move it around, you can duplicate them, okay. As far as lines, there is no native line tool here, but with any of the markers, if you press on a marker and then hold down the shift key, you can draw a line. I don't know if you knew that, but you can do that. Now in FigJam, there's a lot more features. So let's look at shapes in FigJam. So in FigJam, we go down to the toolbar, we see our shapes, we click, and there under basic, we have seven shapes. If we go to the flow chart, we then get more shapes, including the folder one. I just love this folder one for some reason. I think it's, uh, it's silly, but I just love that one. And then one more that I'll put on there, if we go down to miscellaneous, we get a few more, including the very, very helpful arrow ones. So that's really nice. Now, once we have a shape on the FigJam canvas, we can actually change what the shape is. So I'll change that into a square and I'll change this one into another square, but then I'll elongate it a little bit. Oh, and it already elongates because it was, but there, so now I have a square and a rectangle, great. And if we zoom in on a shape, Let's zoom in. And what we can do is we can add text. So we'll call this square right here and we can even uh, bold that text. So that's really nice. We can hyperlink, we can have bullets, all that in a, in a shape, pretty nice, isn't it? With lines, there is a line tool right here with the shapes. And this is just a basic line. It comes in like that. Now I can edit that line. I can change the color. I can make it dashed right there if I want, and I can even change the endpoints. So I can have an arrow going here, I can have an arrow going there. That's all really nice stuff. What really makes it nice is when it's a connector. So this connector is this one here. It looks almost like a, like a subway map or something. And what happens is, let's go to any object on here. So with our connector tool, let's connect the shapes and lines. So I notice when I hover over, I get four endpoints. So we'll do that as the first point. And then I go to lines and I can do any one of the four as well. So I'll just put that there. Let's do this even a little bit more fun. So here, this is a rectangle. And let's show the relationship between a square and a rectangle using a connector. And so I'll go here and I'll go to this bottom one here and we'll go there. I love that. And once I've done that, I can actually, let's, make this a we'll make that a black line and we'll make it solid but the other thing i can do is i can add text and we can say and let me make that a little bit bigger yeah and so you see there what i've done is i've drawn a connection between these two things and in the connecting line i have put a text explanation of the relationship. This here is an example of using these connectors and lines. Uh, this is to show connections and relationships as far as the main causes of World War I. I get a little connector happy, but as you can see, you can have all sorts of fun illustrating connections with uh, these connectors. Before I go, I want to shout out my partners at Figma. If you want to get started with FigJam in your classroom, go to figma.com slash education. If you want to try one of the amazing FigJam templates for education, go to figma.com slash at education. And if you want to play with shapes and connectors in a FigJam right now, type figjam.new into your browser. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy transitioning from Jamboard to FigJam.